I'm going to put my pot down on a piece of paper right off the bat because I like to take advantage of the way it's going to burn and the smoke is going to begin to start crawling up start the sides. Right yeah, you see I'm getting subtleties right there. So then I'm going to come back and I wouldn't dare hold this horse hair in my mouth the way Don Ellis does. But I'm going to take that's a... That's not right off the horse. Huh? That's not right off the horse. I know it. It's a violin bow. Yeah. But still, never, never wore. Now, I use a lot of it. And Don... Is that just the way I taught you, right? Yeah. That's just the opposite of what Don told me to do. But I always like, and you see, I'm getting the, the carbon trailing. Well, I like the way that one looks, actually. I knew you would. I like it a lot. And you know, it's like, that's about all I'm going to do, except spray it with ferric chloride. I need to find me a little piece of paper in a minute. I'm going to show you all a secret. This pot, come on up with the camera. You see this fracture on this pot right here? You know, you could be panic stricken, but when it first happened, it was about three times that far open. As the pot begins to cool, it closes back up. Now, Don said earlier that it's not so much what a great potter you are, it's how to cover your mistakes. Well, I'm going to tell you a wonderful secret. If this pot turns out as nice as I think it's going to be, I'm going to give you a wonderful secret on how you can fix that and it'll be just fine. I'm going to put a feather right here. And it'll suck in the carbon right there. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to hit the bottom with fair... Doggy, is that warm? I'm spray in the bottom and I'm going to leave the rest of it alone and now when I spray it I'm going to spray it at different directions like I know that from a, uh, if I spray this carbonized area I'm going to get a metallic luster so I hit a little bit right there and that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to let it go. Now what you've got to learn and what's so exciting about using the ferric chloride in conjunction with carbon trailing, horsehair, feathers, sugar, whatever, is as this pot begins to cool, I get all sorts of various options that I can use. And I'm going to show you in just a minute exactly what they are. So just hang on and uh, uh, I'll get ready to make, make this pot a little bit different. 